ToonTrack updates Easy Mix to version 2.2 with native support for Apple Silicon. Welcome to Music Gears where we bring you the latest info on new music instruments, software, and other gear from around the world. ToonTrack has announced that Easy Mix 2.2.0 is now available to download using the product manager or from the My Products area in your ToonTrack account. New. On Mac, Easy Mix 2 is now 64-bit only and requires Mac OS 10.9 or higher. The VST, AU and standalone can now run natively on Apple Silicon processors. The About dialog says 64-bit ARM instead of 64-bit Intel in native Apple Silicon mode. The RTAS format has been removed. New standalone and document icons. On Windows, the standalone now has support for Wasapi audio devices, but no longer supports MME. On Mac in the audio device settings in the standalone, there is no longer a device type menu, since it always only contained poor audio. On macOS Mojave or newer, if the standalone does not have microphone access, which actually means access to audio input devices, it now says so in the audio setup dialog and how to fix it. Added support for a few new effects to be used in future Easy Mix packs. Check for updates can now open the product manager, if installed, instead of the download web page. Fixed. Fixed a crash that could happen in Pro Tools just by turning a knob controlling amount of a matching EQ effect. Fixed a potential crash if a parameter was changed by the host, using automation, at the same time that a different preset was being loaded. Changing parameter values using the mouse will can now be better recorded to automation curves in DAWs. Incorrect latency was reported to the host when a preset containing mastering limiter was active. In dark mode on Mac, tooltips were not readable in hosts supporting dark mode. The metronome in the standalone was not very precise, especially with large buffer sizes. Metronome sounds were incorrectly pitched unless the sample rate was 44,100 Hz. In the Mac standalone, if a project was saved with the effect rack closed, opening the project would incorrectly open the effect rack. In the Mac standalone, opening audio or metronome settings with the effect rack closed would open a blank effect rack window. Read more at www.tunetrack.com. Please like this video if you found it helpful, and if you'd like to stay informed on the latest in music gear releases and limited time discount offers, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.